Hi folks, Laura here and this is video two of our five part video series and in today's videos we're going to focus in on our goals and primarily looking at how we set our goals and then what we do in terms of next steps to actually ensure that we achieve those goals. So I've got a step by step guide for you, tips and instructions and to kind of explain why it's important that we follow these steps. So it's really important um, in any kind of aspects in our, in our life, if we're trying to make any kind of change, that we really get clear on what that change is going to be and why we're making that change. So focusing in on fitness, we really need to be clear on what our particular fitness goals are, why they are our chosen goals and what they mean to us and why they're important to us, and then what we do, how we break that down, Quite often, and the big take home message from this video is that quite often we have these goals, so that's great, they're up here. So the goal might be to get fit, and so therefore we might choose to do a half marathon, a marathon. That's great, but quite often we stop there, and that is our goal, and we don't do anything else with it. And then we kind of struggle to follow our journey and to achieve that goal. And that's because we don't break that goal down into smaller chunks and break it down right into what we have to do on a daily basis to achieve that goal. So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So grab a pen and paper and write these down for me. You may want to listen to the whole video or what you might want to do is at each section, stop and pause the video, complete that task and then press play and carry on with the next step. So step one is get a blank piece of paper and do a massive brainstorm and just brain dump all the kind of goals, the hopes, the dreams that you might have in your life. Mainly, again, we're focusing on fitness, but you can apply these to any aspect in your life. So in, the, in your career, in your relationships, anything that you want to change. So just have a, a bit of a brain dump. So kind of coming into fitness, think about what, what your goals are. So um, maybe to lose weight, maybe to uh, run a marathon, maybe to complete a tough mudder, um, maybe to complete um, a bodybuilding contest, maybe to just generally be fit and healthy, maybe to have more energy to run around after the kids, the grandkids, that kind of thing. So be as wild and be as brave as you want to be um, and dream big. So write down all your dreams, all your hopes, all your desires um, and all those goals. So that step what you might want to do is at each section stop and pause the video, complete that task and then press play and carry on with the next step. So step one is get a blank piece of paper and do a massive brainstorm and just brain dump all the kind of goals, the hopes, the dreams that you might have in your life. Mainly, again, we're focusing on fitness, but you can apply these to any aspect in your life. So in, the, in your career, in your relationships, anything that you want to change. So just have a, a bit of a brain dump. So kind of coming into fitness, think about what, what your goals are. So um, maybe to lose weight, maybe to uh, run a marathon, maybe to complete a tough mudder, um, maybe to complete um, a bodybuilding contest, maybe to just generally be fit and healthy, maybe to have more energy to run around after the kids, the grandkids, that kind of thing. So. Be as wild and be as brave as you want to be um, and dream big. So write down all your dreams, all your hopes, all your desires um, and all those goals. So that's step one. So step two is to really focus in on why you want that goal and what it means to you. And this is really important. Quite often we um, pick goals and actually we're not kind of quite sure why we've picked those goals and what they mean to us and what we're trying to achieve. And sometimes you might even find that it's a goal that somebody else has kind of subconsciously put onto you. So that could be society, could be the people around you that influence you, so friends, family, work colleagues, partners. So really kind of, so this is a really important step. And I'll give you a prime example quite often. So this is outside fitness, but quite often people are in careers and then they work um, really hard to move up to the next step, to move for a promotion. But if you actually take a step back and ask yourself, why is it that you're working so hard? Why do you want that promotion? Sometimes people can't answer that question. Now, if you can answer that question, that's great, then that's cool. 
but if you're finding that actually I'm not sure what, why I want that because I'm kind of quite happy where I am and I'd rather use my goals and my focus and my attention on, on some other aspect of my life. So there's no right and wrong here, but what the important thing is to do is to be really clear on why that goal is and that's where it becomes a bit of right and wrong. If you can't answer why that goal is important to you, then perhaps that's not your main goal or maybe it's a goal to look at it later on in life maybe you've got some other goals that are more important to you more immediate so the simple thing to do here is you write what your goal is so it might be to lose weight and then you follow it by the expression so that and then you write what that might be and then you keep going with the so that until you get right down and you can't answer that so that question anymore so it might be I want to lose weight so that I feel fitter so that I have more energy so that I'm more productive in my life and in my work so that I can spend more time with the kids, I have the energy to run around after the kids, have the energy to um, do stuff outside of work and to participate in my hobbies so that, um, and it might be that you want to lose weight so that um, ultimately um, you can live longer. So do you see where it kind of breaks down? So it might be that you... Um, want to get fitter so that you can run a marathon so that you can lose weight or so that you can achieve something and you've got um, a medal at the end of it and a big achievement something that's important to you you have that competitive streak so with every single goal that you've already written down write down so that and then really dig deep really think about why it's important to you what it means to you what you feel it would impact in your life and how you think it would impact. Okay, so that's step two. So step three, I want you to pick your 10 most important. So look through, by now you should have a massive brain dump and then you've written them all down and each one you've narrowed right down with a so that and then that actually really is your goal and your prime focus. Now out of all of these ones, I want you to pick your top 10, okay? Now I'm saying 10 because I think somewhere in here you might have started slipping in some ones that aren't fitness and that's fine so if you can stick with fitness that's fine you can do this um, in any other aspect in your life so once you've done this in terms of fitness maybe try it in something else as well so that's step three okay so step four is to now put them into a bit of a time scale so which ones will take between one to three months which ones will take up to six months which ones will take a year? Which ones will take about three years, two to three years? Which ones will take five? Which ones will take 10 years? So put them in order in terms of how long that you think that they will take. So step five is to then pick one, okay? So pick one and that is going to be your focus for the next 90 days. So step six, so we now are really clear on what our one goal is, so we have 10 goals that we want to achieve and maybe we might want to achieve those over the next uh, five to ten years but we're going to start with one goal first so step six is to then turn this one goal into one simple habit that you can do every day and this is key and that's what I was saying at the beginning of the video that we quite often pick this goal let's say that's up here so that might be to lose weight to run a marathon to do a tough mudder but we don't then translate that into everyday life. What does that look like on a daily basis? What does that mean that we have to do every day to keep moving towards that goal? So that is step six, is to list all the possible things that you could do every day, every week, every month that's gonna move you towards that goal. So again, have another massive brain dump and think of all the different things that that could be. So say if it's to run a marathon, so what, you, what could you do? So there's one to make sure you kind of go out running uh, it could be a ones to look at your nutrition and eat a bit healthier so you can maybe um, have the energy that you need to run it can be to make sure that you have a plan and you're following that plan it can be to make sure that you've got the right equipment the right running shoes it could be to sign up to a running club um, so see all those different things that you could do that would help you achieve that goal so step seven is to then pick one okay um here ideally if we can pick one that might then have a bit of a snowball effect on all of the others and so again to go back to kind of a, a marathon 
it could be to lace your trainers every single day to lace up your running shoes every single day and that is your one habit your one activity that you have to do every day and all that means is that every day you have to put on those trainers and you have to tie them up and it might mean that you go for a walk around the block it might mean that you do a two minute run it might mean that you do a two mile run but that's your one habit and every day you've done it you can tick it off and you can feel accomplished and it's really important that we turn it into a daily habit because the more you do it every day, you'll soon find that it becomes automatic and you actually start looking forward to it and you start enjoying it. And that is the key to any kind of goal or change in your life is to turn it into a daily habit and to just do it and turn it into something that becomes a bit more automatic and something that you actually begin to enjoy. In the next video series, I'm gonna um, talk a bit more about habits and how we can turn our activities in into habits and also we will look at how to break bad habits but step a is a little tip here called the two minute rule so all you're going to do you've picked your one habit that you need to do every day and all you're going to do is do it for two minutes and that's it and there's no catch here you're more than welcome to do it for two minutes and then once you've done two minutes you can stop if you've done your two minutes and you want to do it for longer that's great so again going back to running shoes your yeah, habit is every day you have to tie your trainers up and then just go outside. And it might be that you do a two minute walk, two minute run, and then you come home and that's it. And it's about building that habit because what you will find is um, that you start doing that every day, you start enjoying it, you start looking forward to it. And that two minutes might turn into a two mile run. And eventually if you carry on doing it, it might even turn into a 20 mile run one day. And that's the key is to turn this big fitness goal that's right up here into a simple small daily activity that you can do every day so one more step so the final step there's two tips here two steps to it is that you're going to be really clear and name what that activity is and then you're going to be clear on when you're going to do it what time of the day you're going to do it what activity leads before it so it might be that as soon as i get out of bed i put on my running shoes i lace them up and i go out that's it okay and this is really key do not overlook this step and i want you to write this down and make a firm contract with yourself and make a commitment to say exactly when this habit that you've picked and decided that's the that's your intention that's what you're going to do every single day you're going to be crystal clear on when you're going to do that what time of the day what activity leads and do you do before it so it might be that as soon as i get in from work i put my bag down i grab my running shoes i put them on and i go out and that's it Obviously, translate that to what your fitness goal is. So if it's to lose weight, so it might be that as soon as I finish work every day, I come home, change into my gear, and then I go to my uh, Zumba class, whatever it might be. So make an appointment with yourself, make a contract. You commit to when and where you're going to do that activity. What's the activity that leads before it? What do you do afterwards? And this leads in to the, the final part of it, which is what we call our cue and what we call our reward. So a prime example of a cue is your alarm clock goes off. So then your action, the, the habit that you've picked is to, going back to my example, lace up your trainers, put your trainers on, lace them up and go outside. And then your reward, okay? So your reward afterwards is that feeling of going onto your spreadsheet and being able to tick it off and say that you've done your one habit that day and you've completed it. Or it might be, um, that you have lots of energy and you feel good and you feel set up for the rest of the day or it might be that you get to go and have um, a nice massage or a stretch or a nice hot bath afterwards so that's really important and don't overlook this step so you've narrowed down your goal here right down to that daily intention that daily habit that small action that you need to do every day and the trick is it's that small simple action that you do every day that will lead you towards that goal it's not trying to do lots and lots of different things which is why i've asked you to narrow it down to one and it's not trying to do massive changes all at the same time it's that one habit that you need to do but you've got to be really crystal clear on what it is why you're doing it what it means to you and when you're going to do it so what time of day what's the activity that's before it what's straight afterwards so that's the end of this video there's kind of quite a lot of information in this, so make sure you re-watch the video. Make sure you have that pen and paper and you're writing it down. Feel free to comment and let me know what your goal is. Um, 
when you want to achieve it by and what that habit is that you're going to be doing every day to lead you towards that goal and I guess the final thing to say is a habit can take roughly about 30 to 90 days um, to become a habit so once you've picked that action that daily routine that daily activity that becomes your habit now once that that action has become a habit then you move on to your next habit so you can go back to that list back to that brain um, storm that you've had and pick another thing so pick another goal or if it's another activity another um, action that you need that will lead you towards that goal and then you focus on doing that one and once that becomes a habit you move on to the next and this is how you create a successful fit, fit healthy balanced lifestyle and get to achieve your fitness goals I hope this helps you I'd love to hear what your feedback is and I'd love to know what your um, what your overall goal is but more importantly what is that one task that you're going to do every day what's that one daily habit that you're going to make automatic that you're going to do and commit to give yourself some accountability comment make yourself accountable commit to it and let me know and I will see you um, in video free take care bye